tonally, the fame of these organs rests on the pungency of their tonal palette. Reap was a cooking enthusiast as well as a vintner, and he used to like to make culinary parallels with the organ. For example, the console was the equipment for a meal. The keyboards were the plates, one's fingers were the knives and forks, that sort of thing. He made up recipes, too, for the various mixtures of stops, or registrations as we call them. For example, a two-foot, that was the salt you sprinkle. And the cornet, well, a piquant sauce, perhaps. And as for the rich, low notes of the pedal, a good burgundy. Reap had left Otto Boren quite early and gone to study in Alsace, and then settled in Dijon in France. Mustard, however, never figures in his musical larder. He won a royal appointment and much renown, although he always said he didn't make nearly as much money making organs as he did as a vintner. French and German organ building styles are different. The French go more for imitating other instruments like trumpets and mixing combinations of stops. The Germans are more interested in architectural balance. They have a less varied tonal palette. This organ is a fusion of the two styles, which makes it just right for the music of a composer whose output and education was as cosmopolitan, Georg Muffat. Muffat was born in Germany, of Scottish descent, but worked in France with Lully, and his music fuses three elements, French, German, and Italian. Heard here, it illustrates perfectly how vitally important it is to play the great works of the organ literature on the right organ in the right setting. It brings them vibrantly to life. This is the last of his 12 toccatas. <laughs> 